Allah is the one who created us. Allah created the whole universe. I hear you Muslims say, Allah, Allah, Allah. Who, who is Allah? What does Allah mean? Allah is one of the names of God in Arabic. And this name is not foreign to Christianity. If you look at a Bible in Arabic, the name for God is translated as Allah. So Allah is the name of one of your gods. How many gods do you have? So we as Muslims, we believe in Allah, who is the only God and who is uniquely one. Okay, we, we have only one God as well, but uh, who do you guys pray to? I mean, do you pray to Mohammed? Do you, do you pray to the moon, the sun, the rock in the desert, right? Uh, who, who are you guys praying to? We only pray to God directly without any intermediary. And that's why God says in the Holy Quran, and this is logically correct. If we look around the world today, at any given country, it won't have two presidents or two prime ministers. Why is that? Because the country cannot be run properly. So now we're going to look at the whole universe and everything inside of it. How can we say there's more one creator or more than one legislator? Of course, this is not the case. And that's why Allah says in the Holy Quran, Okay, so you guys, you know, you believe in you pray to one God. What's all this uh, moon God thing I'm hearing about? I mean, is that the one God that you're praying to? Muslims don't worship the moon or anything else. They worship the creator of the moon and the creator of everything. That's why God says in the Holy Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ اللَّيْلُ وَالنَّهَارُ وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ لَا تَسْجُدُوا لِلشَّمْسِ وَلَا لِلْقَمَرُ وَاسْجُدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِن كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ Okay, so, so I heard in the verses, and, and I understand that uh, you only worship the one God, believe in the one God, create everything. Uh, you said you didn't have any sons, but um, you know, in Christianity we, we had the concept of God the Father, and you know, Catholics believe that Mary is the mother of God. So uh, do you have anything like that in Islam? To answer your question, listen to this verse in the Holy Quran. So let's look back a little bit here. Basically, if we look at God and we look at us, we're different. Of course, we're not the same. So, God does not have an equal or a partner. He does not have a mother or a father or a son or a daughter or anything like that. When we, we live, we die, we have an urge built inside of us from God. We want to have children, we want to procreate. But God is not like us, and He doesn't do that. Okay, so God is one, He is unique, and uh, you know, does any sons or daughters can I understand. But where exactly is Allah? One of the names of Allah, or one of His attributes, is Al-Ali, or the transcendent. Now, what does this mean? Basically, we're on the earth, and this is a creation. All the heavens and the earth, all of the universe and the galaxies, all these things. This is the creation. Now Allah is above and beyond that. So all of the creation, Allah is above it. He is the transcendent. So if He's above everything, and above being physical, what does He look like? لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ Allah is not like any of His creation in any way. However, Allah has described Himself as having certain characteristics. Let's say, for example, Allah has a face. Allah has told us that He has a face. However, this face is not like our face, and it is not like any face in the creation. And it is perfect and beyond our imagination. After hearing all this information, you should know that you should worship Allah by following Islam. And I will end this video by these verses which will describe some of the characteristics of Allah. هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما يشركون 
هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم